for my brethren, we all know what brethren means, meaning uh, the people of your nation and kinsmen. Well, we're going to check out what the word kinsman means. Kinsman is, is family members, my man. A male relative, a man sharing the same racial, cultural, or national background as the other. A blood relative, a relish, no, 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 that's not it. That's not that bullshit. A member of same race, tribe, or ethnic stock. Now, that's it. Uh, you can say the blood uh, relation. Yes, yes, yes. And this one. Um, so, like, yeah. so, yeah, this, 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 this one. Okay? So, that's it. Right? According to the flesh. Now, it, <laughs> it says it. For I wish that myself were a curse from Christ for my brethren. He Paul was wishing that he was, he went on the cross for his brethren. For his kinsmen, for his uh, members of the same race, tribe, or ethnic stock, racial, cultural, or national back national background, nationality, which means Israelites. According to the flesh. So it's not talking about spiritual Israelites. Yeah? Yeah. Verse 4, whom are Israelites? To whom, it's not a question mark, okay? It's not a question mark, my man. Who are Israelites? To whom pertained the adoption? The adoption means the Bible. The adoption is uh, the Lord, the one everybody calls Jesus Christ. That's, that's why he mentioned them here. To whom pertained the adoption to buy back? Because the Lord had done away with. Uh, with the children of Israel according to the book of Hosea chapter 1 he had not done away with them but he just turned his back on them let's put it down like that because in Romans chapter 11 it says um, Romans chapter 11 verse 1 I say then had God cast away his people God forget, forget, forbid so he didn't cast away his people he just turned his back on them but he sent the one everybody calls Jesus Christ Yahweh Shai is his real name to adopt them back to the Father. So it says, who are Israelites? These, the, the brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh. These points. Okay, these points. I don't know what it means in English. How you say it in English. Who are Israelites? And then these points again. These points. To whom pertained the adoption. So only to the Israelite pertain the adoption. And the glory. Only the glory pertains to the Israelites. And the covenant. What is the covenant? We're going to check out what the word covenant means. Basically, it means an agreement. A binding agreement. A compact. So, a binding agreement. That's the covenant. Okay? So, now we, got, now we know that. And the giving of the law. The law was only given to the Israelites. And the service of God. Only the Israelites can serve God. The Most High. And the promise. Only the Israelites were promised something. Because um, Abraham, our forefather Abraham, he was promised. Because he was promised a great reward. And what is their reward? Well, we are reading it right now. This is the reward what we're reading. This is the reward that the Most High said Abraham is going to get. Okay, his children. His seed after him. Verse 5. Who are the fathers? So like you. Who are the fathers of whom... And of who, as concerning the flesh, Christ came. So the, the the Lord only came for the Israelites. Because, and of whom concerning the flesh, Christ came. According to the flesh, my kinsmen, who are Israelites. For who concerning Christ came. Who is over all, God bless forever. Amen. <laughs> Not as though the word of God had taken none effect, for they are not all Israel, which of which are of Israel. Meaning, the Most High is only dealing with the elect. Because it says, In the 
in the book of Romans, chapter 11, verse, uh, verse 7. Look, it says here. I'm so stupid. I already had it. I already had it. Anyway, it says, Romans chapter 11, verse uh, 7. What then? Israel had not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election have obtained it, and the rest were blinded. Okay? As it is written, God had given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that they should not see, and ears that they should not hear unto this day. And David said, Let their table be a, be made a snare, and a trap, and a stumbling block, and a recompense unto them. Meaning, recompense meaning payback. Why are you getting payback? For the wickedness, for your wickedness you have done. That's why you're blinded. Going back to Romans chapter 9. Neither because they are the seed of Abraham are they all children. Now this is talking about something else. But in Isaac shall thy seed be called. Why? Because Abraham had other kids with these other women, with these slaves. That is, they which are the children of the flesh, these are not the children of God. Now it's not talking about the flesh and blood. It's talking about the spiritual children. Now going on. But the children of the promise are counted for the seed. Who are the children of the promise? These are the children of the flesh are, for example, Hagar. Hagar, her son, Ishmael, that was a child of the flesh. She was, he was, she was not connected to the Most High. Okay? She was connected to... to Canaan. She was connected to Ham. She was an Egyptian. These are not the children of God. So Ishmael is not a child of God, not the Most High. But the children of the promise, and who was the promise made unto? The Israelites, who pertained to the adoption, the glory, the covenants, the giving of the law, the service of the Most High, and the promises. So, but the children of the promise are counted for the seed. For this is the word of, the, of promise. At this time will I come and Sarah shall have a wife, have a son. Okay, now it goes into Jacob and Esau, but I want to go to, you can read that for yourself, but I want to go to um, verse uh, 25, because a lot of people say, I'm going I'm going I'm to read uh, what she said. Oh, no, 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 I'm, I mean uh, verse 24. Even us whom he had called, not of Jews only, but also of the Gentiles. So, now you're saying like, okay, all this stuff. But the Lord said, uh, he only came for the Israelites. So, how can he now come for the Gentiles? As he said on, uh, also in OC, I will call them my people, which were not my people. And her beloved, which was not beloved. That's talking about the Gentiles. And it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, Ye are not my people, there ye shall be called the children of the living God. That's talking about everyone. Because now, the so-called Negros, Latinos, and Indianos, which, which are these people, are not being called the children of God. The, they're not being called the, the people of uh, God. But I'm going to go now to the Hebrew, and we're going to check out what the word Gentile is there. Um, where is it? Um, Romans chapter 9, verse 24. Romans 9 and 24. Here. Even us, whom, had he, whom, whom he had called, not of the... Um, not of the Jews only, but also of the Gentiles. With a question mark? This is why. Um, eth ethos, a tribe, nation, a group of people. Mm, because these Gentiles... These Gentiles, 
are not talking about the other nations because it be, I, I just read to you that the Lord does not lie, right? Well, then check here. Matthew chapter 10, verse 5. This is what everybody, uh, this is what, well, I'm going to read it. This is what uh, the man said that everybody calls Jesus, which his real name is Yahweh Shai. Matthew chapter 10, verse 5. These 12 Jesus, Jesus himself, Yahweh Shai himself, sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles and into any city of the Samaritans, enter ye not. But go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So if he said that, and it says in the book of Hebrew, chapter 13, verse 8, Jesus Christ the same yesterday and the same and today and forever. So he changed not. Okay? And he's just like his father, the heavenly father, the most high Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. If he said that, then how can all, all of a sudden Paul come here in the book of Romans, chapter 9, verse 24, and say, that salvation is also for the Gentiles. It's not talking about those uh, other nations. It's talking about Israelite foreigners who are living in a gent. Look, look, look. It says here, Paul uses the term for Gentile Christians. And who are the Christians? The Israelites. Because the word Christians means anointed with olive oil. And who was the only nation anointed with olive oil? That was the Israelites. Because these cave people, these Romans, these Greeks, <laughs> they had their own gods. And they, they used to mock the Christians. But they had their own gods. Zeus and all that nonsense. You got really feel. I don't know, man. You got a lot of crazy gods, man. Look at the Poseidon and stuff like that. God of the water, God of love, and all that bull crap. You know what I'm saying? Look, look, it says uh, in the Old Testament, foreign nation not worshiping the true God, pagans and Gentiles. That is the word ethia, uh, ethnos, ethnos, where you get the word ethnicity from. What? No, 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 that's not it. Wait a minute, that's some bullshit. <laughs> I made a mistake. Uh, I was uh, thinking about something else. Anyway, um, the, the Gentiles is not talking about uh, the Israelite foreigner. I mean, uh, the the other nations. It's talking about the Israelite foreigners because the Lord Jehovah said, don't go teaching these Gentiles. Only thing that these Gentiles need to know is that they're going into slavery and that their, their kingdom is going down. The Gentiles are all the other races that are not from the Negros, Latinos, and Indians. So with that, all praises go. I hope you understand this. All praises go to the Most High, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, and uh, double honors unto the elders and great millstone for the teachings of the scriptures and uh, shalom to all the Akiyam, the sincere brothers and uh, shalom.